Welcome everybody to Seasonal Eating, historical based nutrition where we eat what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Today we are speaking about something very important, health and the immune system. Uh, you all know how important vitamin D is for that. In other videos um, I've spoken about uh, winter months and, and it's the natural human diet to eat a little bit more meat and animal products in the winter as uh, nothing else would be growing wild. So even more so if your ancestors are from colder places. So my ancestors of course ate lots more meat in the winter and I try to do the same. The vegans and vegetarians are going to get pissed off at that, but, and your doctor is probably also going to get pissed off at that, um, but it's just a fact that humans have thrived on this diet for hundreds of thousands of years, eating more meat in the wintertime. Two things, though, very important. First, only the wintertime. Uh, you know, high meat and animal products is definitely not great for us year-round. We shouldn't have a lot of that in our diet. We know that. Uh, second thing, uh, vitamin D. Uh, the rest of the year, our bodies actually make a lot of vitamin D from the sunlight. Winter, we see less sun, so we need to make vitamin D another way, especially in the winter because that's when most sickness and plagues and diseases came around in ancient times, and your immune system needed to be stronger than ever at that time. Sun is down a lot longer, so diet is the only way to get the vitamin D that we need. Guess what has the most vitamin D in it? Eggs, cheese, milk, meat, and most importantly, fish. Uh, animal products, yeah, sure, there are some vegetables with vitamin D, but you know, how much are we talking here? You can have a teaspoon of cod liver oil and get enough for the day, that's it. Or you can drink a gallon of orange juice and get enough, or you can have a half a pound of spinach every single day in the winter, or, or the most vitamin D actually comes in uh, mushrooms of any of the plants, so you can do with a cup a day of that and get your daily needs of vitamin D that way in the winter. But guess what? That's not growing in the winter. So spinach was in season in the early summer and mushrooms were in the fall, so there really was no other food around in the winter. And that's why meat, fish, and animal products, they're not just the best option, but they were the only option earlier in history to get to the vitamin D we needed. So very, very important.